Uh, nine years ago, the council tried to close our schools. They didn't. Mm. Now, maybe there's been anger at the bull's head in the past. It was possible when Paul and Denise were here that one Friday night they ran out of Eskleyside pie or butty and things got rather heated. <laughs> but other than that, I don't think we've ever had anything to match this kind of response. We used to get crowds inside and it's rather second best to have them outside. A lot of pubs have closed and sometimes nobody even notices. But this one is different. It's a vital part of two unique communities, both Craswell as a village and the Golden Valley as a whole. It is beloved. And every time one goes by it, looking curiously as though it's open and knowing in your heart that it's not. It's, the heart sinks. Um, it's been this way for 1,234 days, exactly, I believe. Though, frankly, it wasn't open that often in the months before that either. Some people believe that the owners of this pub, the Macintosh family, have a plan because they previously owned another pub, the ancient camp at Ruck Hall, another famous pub overlooking the Y, very fondly remembered, and after their tenure, it became a private house. And as many of you know, the reality these days is that an ex-pub that becomes a private house is actually worth about a third more than it was when it was a pub, because our country's economics are somewhat crazy. So it makes a few people suspicious as to what's going on here. Now, I don't remotely suggest this myself, in fact, I'm inclined to think <laughs> that there may be another agenda altogether and that what's happening is that they are actually undercover agents for the Salvation Army and going around the pub and the Temperance League, all of those, going around the pubs of Herefshire one by one and ensuring that the demon drink is banished from this county forever. <laughs> However, one member of the family actually went on the pub, went on the social media, uh, as I believe they're called, uh, yesterday, uh, to say that in fact they were trying desperately to sell it as a pub, which doesn't fit at all with the evidence that has reached us since we've become involved in this issue. It doesn't fit with the difficulty we've had actually getting hold of the family at all. It doesn't fit with the email addresses that don't work, the phone number that's dead, the unreturned calls, the absence of a for sale sign, or any indication at all that they really want to sell it as a pub. But let us hope this really is what's happening, because then that's a start to what we're trying to do. People ask what we're trying to achieve. There are two things. One is to assure that the council know that we're here and that no one exploits any loopholes in the planning laws as if that could such a thing could possibly happen but you know just in case uh, the second thing is so that the owners themselves know we're here and I believe they do and I plead with them to be serious to talk to us to talk to people who would like to buy it to put it on the market in the way that people normally put it on the market just Charles and Catherine, please, just show us you care as, as much as we do. We're very lucky in this part of the Golden Valley. We have a very good surviving pub, the Bridge, and many of you may wish to go there after when our beer runs out, because um, he does charge a little for it. Um, but it's nearly three miles away. I think it's even more than three miles away. And tourism is increasingly a major part of our economy around here. And we need places for our visitors to go. And we won't be a community unless we have our focal points, our churches, our shops, our halls, our schools, our pubs. We need, we need the ball. It's hard to run a country pub, I know. But this place can be viable. Many of us remember it when it was absolutely flying. And what it needs is a good plan, hard work, and love. 
we've already achieved a lot. This morning there were 1,066 signatures on our petition. Yeah. There we are. 1066, that's a number to conquer with. <laughs> and this turnout here, this fantastic turnout, makes a huge statement as well. So, thank you. We have also had the full support of the campaign for Real Ale Camera, who have great expertise in our area, and they do not fight for every single pub that closes, because some can't be saved. But they are absolutely behind us. Uh, I'm delighted that Paul Grenfell, the chairman of Herefordshire Camera, is here today. Um, hey. and, what, and what we need to do is to hold firm and stay vigilant, and we will win. So I just want to thank all those of you who have come here today, and everyone who's helped, to Y Valley Brewery, who so kindly sponsored the beer, hey. to Paul and the rest of uh, his colleagues on camera, and to Jim Ursel, what can I say? Where's he gone? Where's he Jim? gone? <laughs> Where's he gone? He's vanished again. He's vanished. Stop, don't, don't, don't hide. Come here. Come here. Look at him. The Watt Tyler of the drinking class. The Washington of the Western Fringes. The Garibaldi of the Golden Valley. The, the Craswell Churchill. Uh, none of this would have happened without Jim, Jim's fantastic drive um, and, and energy. He made it possible. So a quick round of applause for Jim. One, one other, just one last person to mention uh, is David Bishop, who is some. I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> You're this camera. Well, you might need to be in front of the slide in a moment. What you are about to see was designed by De by by David to, for a pub that does not currently exist, but it will be back. And remember. Uh, Hilaire Belloc, when you have lost your inns, drown your empty selves, for you will have lost the last of England. Jim and Paul, can you please unveil the side? <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, can everybody come around the side and face that way? Because we want some good photographs, and everybody congregate is what face the cameras, and we got that in the background, so it'll just be perfect. So if people can do that, please, that'd be lovely. Uh, perhaps let this car through first as well. Let's see the two cars. Where do you get that?